Okay, artists, today when we read the dot, we learned that Vashti felt like she couldn't draw until her teacher taught her that even a simple mark can be art. And in the book, we learned that one dot could make quite a splash. Um, we saw examples of circles, and we also saw examples of negative space where the circle was left blank and things around it were filled in. So today we are going to be doing some projects that um, kind of have a dot theme to them so that we can get the idea in our head that even a simple mark can be art. This simple project is going to take a coffee filter and we're going to be using washable markers and water to create a dot. When we add water to the washable markers on our coffee filter, we're going to get some really cool effects of colors bleeding together. But what I want you to do is I want you to leave that dot in the center blank. So I don't want you to put any washable marker down there. I do want you to use a Sharpie and you can decide to either do your name and class code either really large in the center or you can kind of do it smaller depending on the effect that you want. Um, I want mine to be a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to go ahead and write my name right on the edge of my coffee filter, and I am using Sharpie because Sharpie will not bleed when water has been added to it. Don't forget to add your class code. When you are choosing the colors to use, I want you to think about how colors might blend with each other. Um, so if you were using reds, you might think about what other warm colors might blend well together. Um, so things that are close to each other on the color wheel might blend well together. Um, so warm colors together would blend well and cool colors together would blend well. If you do decide to mix your warm and cool colors together, that's fine. But just know that when they blend, they might turn into some colors that you didn't expect, like some grays or browns. So what you wanna do is you wanna use your washable markers and just start maybe filling in the outside edge of your coffee filter. It doesn't have to be any certain pattern. You also do not have to um, fill them in completely. So I think I'm gonna try to just do a warm color effect so I'm gonna pause and catch up, but I'm just gonna do some lines radiating out from the center of my coffee filter. Now that I have my pattern of my washable markers on my coffee filter, I can now add the water. So I'm going to just use a spray bottle and I'm going to spray water right onto my coffee filter. When you spray your water, you don't want to spray too much water because then your colors are just going to kind of disappear and fade but just a simple spray on your coffee filter and leaving it alone is going to have your colors start blending together and we're going to leave this alone and you can kind of start seeing the effect that the water has on those washable markers um, and it just starts bleeding those colors together on your coffee filter once you've sprayed your coffee filter with water, you don't want to add any more washable markers because putting the washable markers onto a wet coffee filter is going to um, ruin the markers. So we'll just want this to dry, and when it's dry, we will be able to display these. While you're waiting for your coffee filter to dry, if you have time, you can take one of the square white papers and you can use our circle stencil um, kind of try to eyeball where the center is and then with pencil lightly go around the edge of your circle. Then I want you to decide are you going to be doing designs or patterns on the inside of the circle or are you going to be using our negative space and are you going to be filling up the outside to create a negative space circle. Whatever you decide on I would like you to determine where to put your name and your class code. Um, I think I'm going to do negative space, so I'm going to go ahead and put my name right on the inside of that circle. You may use any of the materials that are set out for you, um, and you can just explore, do some mark making um, to create a work of art. Once you have finished your design, you can go ahead and clean up the craftsmanship of your project by going back in and erasing any of those pencil lines that you see from your original circle 
This will just kind of help clean up your project and make it look more like a finished work of art. And this is how you can take simple mark making without feeling like you're worried about making a specific work of art and you can turn it into something fun.